Hey what's up guys it's Banu here from androidall.com so as you can clearly see i'm not at the androidall studio today i'm actually outdoors and i came out to show you guys something pretty cool that google just launched so you remember at google io google announced the google maps ar feature so that is available right now for select local guides and i got the update so it's pretty awesome and i really want to share it with you guys so in this video let's go ahead and explore the google maps ar feature and see how it's going to enhance your google maps experience when you want to walk and find a place so if you are excited for that go ahead smash that like button hit on the subscribe button right now and let's get started with today's video All right, so this is the Google Maps interface that we are all familiar with. So the blue dot actually indicates where you are at this moment. And uh, the problem right now is when you put walking navigation, it's a bit difficult for you to identify where you have to actually walk because with all the buildings around, sometimes the GPS location might get lost and you might not be able to actually identify uh, to which direction you have to go. So that's what Google is trying to solve with the AR feature on Google Maps. So now let me show you how it's going to work. So basically, let's say you want to go somewhere. So right now I'm near Liberty Plaza here in Kolpiti. Sri Lanka so now if I want to go let's say I want to go near Colombo city center I will select it on uh, the map and now here I have a directions button so once I enable the directions up top I can select the method of uh, transportation so let's say I'm going to walk in this case so I have selected that and when I select that it will show a new mode which is the start AR function which will be the Google Maps AR function that is built into Google Maps right now so at this moment it's still in alpha stages as you can see and it's only available for select local guides on Google Maps uh, so level 5 and above is available at the moment at the bottom we have the Google Maps it will track the location and up top it will actually track the building and try to identify the location where you're at and it will always give you AR navigation guides for, so that you will not um, miss out on your next turn so it's pretty cool let's go ahead and have a closer look at this all right so now I will have to actually point the camera at buildings and signs across to identify the location where I am at at the moment so right now it actually identified that I'm near Liberty Plaza and now the phone is actually showing me that I have to take my next step towards this side so here we have the AR navigation function so these are the uh, AR guidelines that we have so I had to walk towards this side right now and on e even on the map it will show which direction I have to actually walk in so now let's go ahead and walk towards this side and see what's going to happen all right so now I had to walk towards this side it says continue this way and it says for safety keep your phone down while you're walking so it's nice that Google have thought about some safety features as well and when it recognizes a pedestrian co crossing as well it also wants you uh, to keep your phone down when you're walking because uh, you know it's always good to be safe when you're out on the roads uh, with all the vehicles that are around so now uh, there is a pedestrian crossing over here so the phone will actually be tracking this and uh, on this side it says I have to continue this way for 157 meters so I can actually walk straight without taking the pedestrian crossing here So right now it says to continue this way and I'm gonna start walking towards this side.
So on the AR feature, it will actually try to identify the buildings whenever you're walking around and when the phone is actually scanning for a new location. And if you click on the map over here, down below, it will actually show you the normal uh, map and it will show you um, at a glance where you are actually going. And uh, you can uh, just swipe up like this and we still have all the other earlier functions. So you can even enable the satellite map if you want or you can dis you, or you can disable that from here. And if you want to recenter, you can use the recentering button and you can always jump back into the AR mode by hitting on this AR button over here. And again, it will go ahead and scan the buildings just like so. And afterwards, it will tell you to which direction I have to go. So from here, I have to actually take a left turn. So let's walk straight and take that le left turn and let's try to get to our destination. So right now the problem is sometimes it's not able to recognize all the buildings and it takes a while for all of this to happen. So it's currently in alpha stages like I mentioned before. So that is to be expected but as, the, as more people start using this feature, I'm pretty sure that it'll, it'll become more reliable. So right now I have to take a left turn from over here. So I have to cross the road from over here and walk straight to get to CCC. So let's go. Alright, so now we are near our end destination. We have Colombo City Centre over there and on the map it shows that I have to walk uh, straight and uh, Colombo City Centre over, is over here. So we have Colombo City Centre over there. So let's walk towards Colombo City Centre and uh, continue our journey. Alright, so as you can see, we have Colombo City Centre over here and now it is showing us the final directions to reach our destination. So um, whenever it can't detect what's around you, it will show you this. So you have to again keep scanning the buildings around and uh, it will show you the end directions to the place that you're trying to go. So you just have to hold your phone up a little bit and it will scan the phone. And like I mentioned before, uh, the more people use it, the more accurate the, this AR feature will uh, become. So this is definitely going to be useful and uh, it's a really nice feature to have on your phone. After you're done using the Google Maps AR feature, definitely go ahead and uh, give them some feedback by using this button. So you can go ahead and give them some ideas and also share your system log. So since, it, since this feature is still in alpha stages, definitely try to do that because that will help Google improve this feature for the future and we can have more accurate results moving forward. So definitely this is a really useful feature. So I look forward to use this a lot more moving forward for every single time I have to walk somewhere. Well guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys got a good understanding about the Google Maps AR feature right here in Sri Lanka. If you found this video useful, definitely go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to my channel, definitely go ahead and hit on that subscribe button down below as well. And definitely hit on that notification bell like a next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified each and every time I upload a new tech video right here on YouTube. In case if you're new to my channel, definitely go ahead and check out the other tech videos I've made right here on YouTube. And definitely go ahead and share this video with your friends if you think this will be useful. Definitely follow me on social media. I am at Android Dollar. All the links are given down below in the description. And stay tuned to AndroidDollar.com for all the latest from the tech world. Until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu, signing out.